Hello, this is Drake from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I want to explain to you how you can create a quick and simple chart based on the SharePoint list uh, in SharePoint Online. So here's a use case. Uh, I have this list of projects, all right? Um, very simple list, uh, project name, you know, a few dates, uh, who the project manager is, the status. And what I would like to do is uh, build a quick, you know, and simple chart um with you know that would uh, graphically display me all this information so let's go ahead and do this i go to the home page now uh, i will edit the page let's you know add a column let's maybe have one big column so uh it's uh, going to be visually appealing when we add the chart and the web part you want to use um is called quick chart right and uh, let me click the pencil icon so we can see, I mean, there are a few styles available, all right? Essentially tells you what uh, the chart will look like, the style. And you can manually enter data, all right? X and Y columns, but in our case, I want to get the data from the list uh, or library on the site. So I click this radio button, but look what it tells me. No list available on this site. How come? I just showed you the list I had on this site. And by the way, this is a requirement the list does need to exist on the same site, which it does. However, I still have this error message. Well, let me explain to you why. The reason why our list is not picked up is because uh, in order for the list uh, to be available for the chart, it needs to have at least one text column and at least one currency or number column. Right. And the reason we need this is because uh, for the X axis, right, that's what the text uh, column will be. All right. So we need it for that, for the X axis. And then for the uh, values for the Y axis, we it needs to be either the currency or the number column. So what I'm going to do is this. Let's uh, for now just republish the, um, you know, our page. Let me go back to the list. Now I do have I do have the text column already. I mean this is actually a title column, but you know you could obviously if you don't have it, you can just always create a, a text column. Uh, remember you just need one. Uh, but I do not have any currency or numbers, right? These are just you know date fields. You know this is a people picker, and this is just a, a drop down the, the choice field. So I'm going to add another column and let's do, you know, I think very applicable for projects. Uh, we'll do a budget. All right. So let's do that. And uh, could be a number field, you know, whatever. And let me quickly fill it out. So maybe we'll do, uh, you know, let, let me, you know, once again, uh, just fill it out very quick. Um, some numbers here and then uh, just like that. Perfect. So I just filled in some numbers. Now let's try this again. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to click the edit button. Here is our chart. Oh, look at this. You see, now if I click this radio button, it's asking me which list of library you want to pick. And in our case, we have the project list. And now, uh, you know, essentially what it's asking us, uh, we have to select the uh, column that will display the data, right? In our case, the vertical column. In our case, it's going to be budget. And uh, we now need to display the x-axis, um, uh, you know, column. In our case, it's title, all right? Oh, look at this. Now we have some data. By the way, right, you could always, of course, change it to the pie chart just to show you, all right? And then the next thing we can do here um we can i guess sort this in a particular order let's just you know uh, do a send in uh order or no sort doesn't really matter all right yeah just like that all right you see it's ascending let's leave it alone and then they finally all you need to do is just specify the uh labels for the axis all right so for horizontal one it's going to be a project name just like that and then obviously a budget for the vertical one all right just like that that's it all right you see it worked um you pretty much just you know the most critical piece was the the, the that requirement about the text uh column and at least one number or currency column let's click republish and here we go now we have our chart um you know been displayed right 
Um, so uh, in my opinion, this is a very quick way uh, to allow your users, your, your site members to visualize data. If you have a list or library even, right? If you have a list of library, just make sure you have those, uh, you, you know, a few, uh, you know, types of columns necessary for the chart to, to be displayed. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward and allows you a quick way to spice up your SharePoint uh, site, your SharePoint page. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular uh, video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.